There is a recent video floating around in the internet who claiming uh, there is a mouse running on the rocket engine of the new CR-19 launch from SpaceX. And today we're gonna have a look at it and try to sharpen our minds. Let's have a look. Maybe you catch it. You see? In the upper left corner. Whoa, that definitely looks like a mouse, doesn't it? Let's have a closer look now to see what's really going on here. Pay close attention. There's the object and it's definitely moving like a mouse, doesn't it? Now what you can do is you can stop here and say, whoa, that was really a mouse. SpaceX must be faking its flights for sure and there is no space and all the conspiracy that you have read on the internet might be true actually. So there you have your proof. Or you can think for yourself and maybe you're a little bit confused first, but you thought to yourself, well, that can't be true, can it? A mouse can live in space. There is no air. How could she survive for that long? Maybe there's something different going on here and my eyes just fooling me. And what we are going to do now is we're making a side-by-side -side comparison from the first footage of the engine that we have compared to the stage at when this object starts moving. Since, you know, there are recordings of the stage separation and there you have the first pictures of the engine. And so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison, how it looks like. So here you have a first close look at the first one and the second one. And you can clearly see there is a difference. When the stage separation happened, there wasn't an object there. So the object must have appeared later on in the flight. And maybe you are telling yourself that this mouse maybe have crawled out of a hole in the insulation somewhere and waited until the time was right to crawl along the uh, turbo pump exhaust drills or something like that. But how can we figure out what is actually true here? What we can do is we can follow the development and watching what's happened during the whole flight and maybe we catch some hints here what could be the cause, the real cause. Now focus your attention on the yellow arrows, the front side and the back side. And there you can already see there is some chunk forming that is growing and is dropping off. And there you saw it's felt down and stuck. And there is another chunk forming all the time. He's dripping away. And small chunks always seem to fall down on the engine and get stuck behind this little rail thingy. It looks like uh, some liquid fuel is... Uh, crystallizing or freezing there and it grows and grows until we reach this infamous point where the chunk of ice or foam or whatever it is starts moving down the turbo pump exhaust that it looks like that it was shaken loose by the vibration of the engine And there you have the mouse running down the rail. But it doesn't stop here. The footage continues. What you can see there is there are continuous 
chunks of this icy stuff forming and falling down and uh, there are always little chunks falling and moving towards the first chunk and now we see there is a lot of stuff already on the engine and even more coming after it it doesn't stop there's is small chunks there are big chunks and it's getting pretty dirty down there and now we can have another side-by-side -side comparison from the very first picture to the last picture and there you can see there is a lot of stuff that is piled up there and it pretty much looks like some kind of fuel foam or whoever whatever it is now if you watch it a few more times and wrap your head around that the first bit of stuff just looked like a mouse and that it wasn't there from the beginning it grew bit by bit that you must come to the conclusion that this is indeed just a piece of whatever it is maybe fuel that just looks like a walking mouse and that your eyes are fooling you so in that case you just don't have to trust your eyes here trust your deductive capabilities to figure out for yourself what it really is it takes quite some work and not deciding to going down the easy road of making fast conclusions to to just satisfy your preconceived notions trying to prove yourself wrong all the time not looking after stuff that just looks right because you know this is what will shield you from all the bullshit that gets rained down on your head day after day in this age of information